Last month, Time Warner CEO Jeff Bukas said he would look to split up the media giant's AOL unit and even consider selling the one-time online kingpin. Such a deal is not the corporate legacy former Time Warner CEO Jerry Levin envisioned when he engineered the marriage of old media lion Time Warner and new media darling AOL nearly 10 years ago. Currently, Levin is the director of Moonview Sanctuary, designed to promote not corporate wellness, but personal wellness. And Levin joins us now for Money for Breakfast this morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us today. Good morning, Alexis. How are you? I'm terrific. You sound like you're doing terrific. You know, given what you have been witnessing, particularly over this past six months, you've created this sanctuary for executives to go and get some well-needed advice. What are you telling them? Well, I think it's, it's time to pay attention to uh, their personal uh, core, their interior, and, and not simply their identity as an executive or as a CEO. Because if they can find some balance and some stability and understand their purpose and their true identity, I think that will make them a more complete person and put some real balance back in their careers and personal lives, something that I think is terribly important in these tumultuous times. You know, when you look at your rise and then your downfall post the AOL merger, you're one of the most revered executives, and you're seeing what's happening to executives across the globe, particularly what we've seen over the past six months to many of the financial institutions. There's a point right now where people don't have a lot of faith in the executives running corporations. They're concerned about transparency. They're concerned about greed. What do you tell them in an environment like this to make sure that they are as honest and upfront with their shareholders as possible? Let's have some bravery on the part of uh, our CEOs, uh, those who have the role of chairman of the board, to stand up and say it's time for companies to pay attention to the public interest so that, that we don't leave that simply in the hands of government. Right. But ultimately, this econ economy is run by corporations who, you know, basically are driving this economy. And what we're also finding, you know, those who thought, you know, this was the decline of the American empire, can see that, you know, when we get the sinus infection here, it affects uh, everyone needs antibiotics around the world. So right. this American consumer drives this world. So let me ask you so, this you question. Know, so, so, Mr. Levin, let me ask you this question then. The way we select leaders to run corporations, do we need to change the way we select them and put them in that position? You know, a lot is being discussed about golden parachutes and executive compensation, but do we need to rethink the people we put in charge of today's corporations? When I gave Wall Street speeches first, uh, you know, content was king, and then distribution was king, and then cash was king. Right. And finally, I concluded that character was king. Mm -hmm. That it, it actually matters. Uh, you know, the way we're uh, scrutinizing our presidential candidates, let's scrutinize those who eventually uh, want to run major corporations to take a look, you know, their personal lives, their belief systems, their attitudes, their stability, right. their balance right. are actually very important, yeah, what no, they believe in. We talked earlier about Jeff Bukas talking about whether or not he should split up or whether they would consider splitting up uh, the company that you formed between AOL and the media portion of it. You know, you tell me, you listen to this every day. What do you think? Is that a wise idea? Has the framework changed? What he's doing is what uh, I think a good CEO should do, and that is take a look at the current environment. You know, basically we put in place, starting with HBO and then Warner Brothers and the Turner Networks, and then AOL to, to take us into the digital and Internet world, which obviously uh, the digital technology is, is basic and fundamental now to all businesses. You know, whether the particular cultural clash that came with AOL was really um, positive or not, you know, I think history will ultimately make that judge. And basically, this is what I think retired CEOs should do, and that is let the next generation, because life is very different 10 years uh, after, basically, we put together that transaction. Do you think that will still be the story, that content is king? It's all about stories and relating to to the stories of people's lives and 
you know, that's what movie making is all about. Uh, and these stories never decrease in value like some uh, mortgage-backed securities we're looking at now. These stories continue to increase in value because what inevitably happens, there are new technologies, there's new international distribution. You know, we've gone from putting movies in the theater to video on demand, mm -hmm. uh, which is something we also help pioneer. Well, great way of put summing that up. Just quickly before we go, Moonview Sanctuary. Tell me why you got behind this and what it can do for executives out there. Well, I married into the business, or I married the boss, let's put it that way. <laughs> uh, and at the same time, it became clear that I could put my life at the service of others uh, in uh, an institute uh, that really is designed to deal with not only uh, crisis and depression and addiction and life-altering diagnoses, but also to help people get focus and balance, uh, you know, whether they're a CEO or a, a, a performer an athlete, uh, a politician, you know, to help those who have some responsibility in our society right. really get a hold of their core purpose. And I, I can't tell you how satisfying it is to work on the stories of people's lives, whereas I used to be in the business of fictional stories. All right. Well, Mr. Levin, it was a great pleasure talking to you, and it sounds like a great pursuit. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us this morning. Thank you, Alexis.